what is an inverter loading ratio, an overloading ratio, or a DC to AC ratio? Well, let's find out. Each inverter or converter has a source from their input, in our case PV, and can output a certain amount of power. So all of these terms are just different ways of saying putting more solar on the input than the inverter's rated output. Most inverters can manage a DC to AC ratio of 1.2 to 1.8, with some reaching as high as 2.5. Here are some example inverters that range from 1.3 to 1.6. So why aim for a higher DC to AC ratio? Consider that solar modules are rated at 1000 watts per meter squared and 25 degrees Celsius. These are very specific environmental conditions. If your project is in a cloudier location, experiences snowfall, or is far from the equator with low winter solar hours and radiance, a higher ratio might be beneficial. Let's explore some examples with and without overloading ratios. Here is a system without overloading, where the array is sized exactly to the inverter's 50 kilowatt capacity. In the summer, the array briefly hits the 50 kilowatts before dropping back again. By sizing it one-to-one, -one, the inverter's full capabilities aren't really utilized. Winter is even less optimal, with shorter solar hours and reduced irradiance. Let's consider another example with a 1.5 DC to AC ratio. In the summer, on a perfect day, we can output 50 kilowatts now for seven hours, hitting that 50 kilowatt limit sooner and maintaining it longer. This does result in significant what we call clipping, which is the unused energy above the inverter's capacity, essentially lost energy. However, this approach maximizes the inverter's throughput. In winter, we can then output 50 kilowatts now for 2.5 hours with minimal clipping. Taking a look between summer and winter with a 1.0 and a 1.5 DC to AC ratio, you can see the extra energy you can throughput over the year. Most projects range from 1.2 to 1.4, but finding the right balance for your project is a financial and modeling exercise, and it can really depend on whether it's a residential, a commercial, or utility project, or if there's energy storage attached to the solar project. Then the DC to AC ratio can get as high as 2.0 to 2.5. If you've worked on solar projects, please do share what DC to AC ratios you designed to or seen. Thank you for joining and see you in the next video.